Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. A little while ago you seen I was playing about with some um, new latex testing it. It's finally landed and I'm excited to shoot it. Um, I've made up two band sets. The stuff I tested was 0.5. This is 0.55. So I've made up a 2012, which is what I was uh, using when I tested it for 8mm steel. But I've also made up um, an 18.12. So we'll see how that goes. I um I done most most of my testing with it with seven mil steel, but I'm not going to be shooting that much for a while, so concentrating on tapers and setups for the eight mil. So we're going to see what this does. Um, but first I'm just going to play about. Right then, first taper I'm going to shoot, guys, is the 2012. Let's see if we can find this 40 mil. Oh, four out of five. That's with the, the 2012 bands. Feels really nice. Let's go with the um, the 1812. See how that feels. Just to the right. The draw doesn't feel much different. A little bit softer, but uh, nothing noticeable. Nothing huge. Just underneath. It's better. No way. Not happy. Don't like missing. Two more. That one, pick another one out of my pocket. Two in a row to end that. Let's pick the one up I dropped. Have another shot. Boom, that's where we want them, dead center. This band, guys, is awesome. The draw on it is really, really nice. Um, it's a bit heavier than the 0.5 I tested. Obviously, it's going to be. Um, I'm going to go inside now. No, I'm not. I'm going to get some bean tins and um, we'll do a penetration test. Let me spin the camera back around. Right then, guys. Got some steel bean tins in the garden. Don't normally shoot these, but for the sake of the video. Um, 18 12 taper first. See what this does to a bean tin. Right, I'll grab that and we'll have a look. That's the entry wound, guys. And hell of a dent in the back there. For an 1812 band, not maxed out, that I'm pretty impressed with. It's a pretty clean hole at the front and a good dent. Let's do the same with the 2012. Got another bean tin up, guys. There's the entry wound from the 2012 guys. That was the entry wound from the 1812. And remember the dent in the back? I just went straight through 1812 with the um, with the AK velocity. Shoot in short draw, 15 centimeters active length. Well happy. Let's run it through the chronograph, see what they're actually doing. Right then, this is in metres a second, but I'll put a writing on the screen of what it's doing as we're going along. Um, we'll start off with the 2012 bands and see what they're doing. I'll do three at my normal draw and I'll max it out for one. 78.8 
76.9, I think that's about an average. Now let's max it out. 94.3, that's with the 2012. Right then. The 1812. Short draw first. 78.8. 79.4 Let's max this out. Oh, no more left on the magnet. Right. 98.8 Awesome. Right guys, in a nutshell, what do I think of this Latex? I absolutely love it. I gotta be honest. Um, it's the best I've tried for a long time. I love the speed of it. I love the feel of it. The draw weight, it isn't too much um, for the speed you get. It's pretty respectable. That's really light. I could shoot that all day. Um, the speed is absolutely plenty for any sort of target work. Um, anything else you might get up to with a slingshot. It's ideal. But both of them, the 1812 and the 2012, doesn't see much difference in the, um, the pull. There's a little difference in the speed, but not too much. Um, I'd highly recommend this band for anyone to try. I won't be shooting anything else for a long time. Um, the reason I've gone from 7 to 8 mil steel is just because I've loved shooting the 8 mil steel so much test in this that I want to carry on. Anyway, guys. Have a good day. Get out there and shoot your slingshots.